Hey guys, Jeffy Gamer here, and today I'm just going to be another redstone video, but slightly different from normal. I'm going to be showing you some of the redstone stuff I've built. Like here's just one use I decided to make for a clock, just to make sticky so things go. And then they'll grow each other because if it did, they'd all get pushed into one area, and it doesn't work, it ditches up pistons. As you can see, that just randomly splashes these colours, and yeah. <laughs> um, this was a bunch of Somewhere that's even a bunch of clocks going different ways, but some of them froze or sort that later. But you can make cool patterns of clocks, though it does get laggy. Now we get out. <laughs> and to reckons make this easier. Um, this is something I did. There's actually going to be a uh, custom map. Obviously, I'm not going to show you how to do all the puzzles. Most of them are jumps and jumps and these. And this a uh, for color changes. They change colours a lot. So if one guy's going through there changing all colours and then he has to play out you'll find that tutorial for colour changer in the last one I did. And he tells this guy the combination to open this tutorial so that they can both get through. On to the next bit. Yays. Yay yay yays. Yay. Anyway, on to more exciting things. Obviously, the most important part. But, um, this isn't really much lesson, it's just pissing to do with iron things, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty simple. We just done using ends gauge, so put that on each side, and this router. Router pushes it onto the pressure pad. I'd hit that piece up, it wouldn't work. So, you take it, just gets rid of that. I'll take this piece up in a minute, I've got that one out. Uh, just quite simple to make this. There's literally just water flowing down that, pushing down ends gate. You'll find ends gate on one of the other tutorials, I think. When they both, when that flows into the pressure plate, it opens this door. So, yeah, quite simple. And this is a hidden door. So, the opening to which is down here. As I said, this is mainly going to be showing you around and um, much easier stuff. Anyway, that opens this door which leads you into a mushroom. A mushroom farm. Uh, so it's nothing to say down that one. Nothing to say down that one. Ah, no, this one. This is quite simple. I'll show you how I did it in a minute. You can flip that switch. Obviously, it's done from what's there, so you flip those two switch. Grab the first two switch that's there. It drops you down. Ha! Huh, did you have a nice fall? Oh, I love doing that. Yes, I did make this. Um, it's quite basic though, most of the puzzles in this. Yes, I know to cheat on that, it's designed to do it. Uh, it's quite a simple one. It's got some pistons here, being held up by inverters. And then it ends get here, which will send the power to both of these two inverters to turn off to turn off the pistons. So the buttons are obviously behind these blocks there, and you press them both, they'll both light up, the repeater there, so that's a delay in case you want single player. You turn off these switches, which turns that one on, which turns these that off, which turns off the piston. So yeah, literally basic basics. <laughs> Talk about practical basics. So. Um, next is a way of making a really hard fast jumping puzzle. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. But then there's oh, yeah, I lost my string. But basically, what happens is this. I'll show you the actual recipe behind this one in a minute. Anyway, yeah, as you see, I got this. Um, basically, when you step on one of these, there's a slight delay, then a block comes out, so it obviously is pretty fast. Yes! And that's how you make it. So I've got this one floor here, which is a bit sneaky. But when you land, you can I'm just going to sort that out later. I should catch another piston. So it knocks you off, just so you know, I'm mean. But, um, yeah, what else could I do on here? Um,. That's the resistance behind it. It's really simple. It's literally just connecting the actual resistance with the piston. Um, it's quite a bit of redstone wire and roll, but it's all simple. Actually, yeah, if you put that out, it should come out. But I guess we must do this, and it actually is. Obviously, there's this here, which just makes the piston do it. Just 
questions. Um, I had a very long bit of redstone to that comes round. As you can see, quite a bit of all this just piston opening. So, um, yeah, this is literally all basics. Connecting stuff to stuff. Kind of thing. Um, well, ah, yes, yeah, so something new I came out. I haven't showed anyone this yet. A lot of people know about it. But, yeah, whatever, I'm going to show people. It's, it's probably quite a short episode compared to normal. Anyway, if you see this, there's power. This, some power for this bit. That's the power source. Yeah, that's it. So this is power there. If I activate this, this actually that side of it. Oh, it's because I'm doing it so that. But anyway, now if I press this, it should do it. Two seconds, just a minute, so I can actually show it better. Right, so now if I use this switch over here, it activates. Pat, it activates. Ah, I see what I've done. I've just opened this bit. So if I power through that bit, it's not getting through there. Now if I raise this piston, this block up, and that block actually carries the current through the per the peter on the other side, which has current current pass through to the door. Quite simple. Same with this. If I flip that, lift that up, so the power through opens this. So, I don't know why you might think that's going to be so cool. Here's a random room with floods, unfloods, floods, unfloods, floods, unfloods. Obviously, I can just adjust the open floor. I think a Peter in front says down, so I can see it. Should I do some down to make it a lot harder? I don't Um, no, uh, the, the way I come up with this, I'll actually think about making it like a dungeon set, they get like a flood. And yeah, I've decided to end it a little bit more like this. It's powered by a clock, as you can see, the clock tower and that to which powered piston. Suddenly, you have it below there, obviously, it's sending more power to the piston. So, this is the most of the stuff I've showed you today. It's pretty basic, so I'm absolutely flattered with it at the minute. It is pretty basic, but it works. <laughs> There will be more hard events and stuff, and another big tutorial coming up soon. And our server tool, because our server is up. Um, if any of you have any epic builds, if you like put a video link this description, I say a uh, uh, video response description, I'll check it out. If I think it's good enough, I'll let you come onto it. Also, go onto our epic build server, which is literally just for, as it suggests, for epical builds. Um, and that all for today i will end this by looking at the cake because this cake it's not a lie goodbye everyone